Morning. Now, last week, the airport announced that employees would be required to wear a face mask. And this week, essentially, they're changing it to anyone who goes inside the airport. Now, the uh, face covering requirement will officially go into effect on May 18th. It'll be in place until further notice. SeaTac, they're looking to send a clear message that people should feel safe and that they're looking out for their well-being here at the airport. Now, like so many, the airport has been hit hard by the economic effects of this pandemic. Right now, SeaTac says it's seeing 3,800 passengers a day. That's down from the 50,000 people they'd normally see this time of year. The airport says it has gotten financial assistance from the feds. About $192 million was awarded to the airport as part of the CARE Act. The airport says it's currently looking into to how they are going to spend those funds. Now, the Port of Seattle, they do plan to meet on Tuesday with the commissioners uh, to talk about the airport's recovery plan. In that plan, they're going to highlight something called the Fly Healthy at SeaTac program. What that's going to do, it's going to require changes, everything from changes in security to putting spaces between seating at the airport. They say they're going to look at public health policies as well as different public policies that they're going to institute inside the airport, likely some more changes we're going to see in the future in order to restore travelers' confidence. Amity, back to you.